Hi guys, in this video let us quickly learn about TNM staging of the breast cancer. As you all know, T is a primary tumor, N is a regional lymph node involvement and M is a distance metastasis. So, in the breast cancer, the primary tumor can be again divided into some four stages. But before that, what is Tx? Tx is the primary tumor cannot be assessed. T0, there is no evidence of the primary tumor and TIS is carcinoma in situ that is the carcinoma has not invaded the basement membrane it could be DCIS or pagets so this is about TX, T0 and TIS then coming to the T1, T2, T3 and T4 in T1 the tumor is less than 2 cm in size ok that is less than 20 mm and again this T1 is divided into 4 stages T1 MI that is there is a micro invasion of the tumor that is only 1 mm or less than 1 mm and T1A is 1 to 5 mm T1B is 5 to 10 mm and T1C is 10 to 20 mm. So this is about T1 staging. Then coming to T2 staging, it is 20 to 50 mm that is 2 to 5 centimeters in size. In T3, it is more than 5 centimeters in size. That is the primary tumor is more than 5 centimeters in the size. Then coming to the T4, T4 tumor can be any size but with extension to the chest wall, skin or the both. So if it, if it involves the chest wall, it is T4A. If it involves the skin, that is, it is T4B. If it involves the skin, what can it can result? Ulceration, satellite nodules or beauty orange can be present. So this is T4B. And T4C is both T4A, T4B combinedly form T4C. And T4D is inflammatory carcinoma. So this is about the primary tumor staging. Okay. Tx, it can't be assessed. T0, there is no evidence. Tis is a carcinoma in situ. T1 is tumor less than 2 cm. T2 is 2 to 5. T3 is more than 5. T4 is any size, but it can involve the chest wall, skin, or both, or it could be inflammatory carcinoma. And then coming to the regional lymph node staging. In regional lymph node staging, again we have N1, N2, and N3. But before that, what is Nx? Nx is the regional lymph nodes can't be assessed. N0 is there is no evidence of regional lymph nodes involvement and N1 is there is a metastasis. There is a metastasis to the ipsilateral group of axillary lymph nodes that is level 1 and level 2 group of the lymph nodes. So you have to know the breast lymphatics before knowing the staging. So breast lymphatics in the breast the lymphatics is divided into level 1, level 2, level 3 in relation to the pectoralis minor muscle. Level 1 group of lymph nodes are lateral and below to the pectoralis minor muscle so it includes anterior posterior and lateral group of axillary lymph nodes whereas level 2 lymph nodes are behind the pectoralis minor muscle so it includes central and rotor group of the lymph nodes rotor is interpectoral group of lymph nodes level 3 is it is medial and above to the pectoralis minor so it includes the apical group of the lymph nodes this is about division of the breast lymphatics so nx is can't be assessed n0 is there is no evidence of regional lymph nodes n1 is there is a metastasis to the ipsilateral axillary group of lymph node that is level 1 and level 2 and here the lymph nodes are still mobile they are not fixed in n2 it is again divided into 2a and 2b in n2a there is a metastasis to the ipsilateral group of the axillary lymph nodes that is level 1 and level 2 but here the lymph nodes are fixed or matted in N2B, there is metastasis to the ipsilateral internal mammary group of the lymph nodes. Okay, this is about N2, 2A and 2B. 2A, there is metastasis but they are fixed and matted. In N2B, internal mammary group of lymph nodes are involved. In N3, here the level 3 group of lymph node involvement will be there. So, in N3A, there is metastasis to the ipsilateral infraclavicular group of the lymph nodes. That is level 3 group of lymph nodes and... It can also include or cannot, it may or may not include the level 1, level 2 axillary group of lymph nodes in N3A. So, it mainly includes level 3 group of lymph nodes in N2B. In N3B, there is a metastasis to the ipsilateral axillary group of lymph nodes that is level 1 and level 2 and ipsilateral internal mammary group of the lymph nodes. So, both internal mammary and level 1, level 2 axillary group of lymph nodes is N3B. Okay, both, they are both present. N3C, there is metastasis to the ipsilateral supraclavicular lymph nodes and there can or cannot be the involvement of the axillary and the internal mammary group of the lymph nodes. So, this is about the regional lymph node staging. NX, N0, 
n1 is metastasis to the ipsilateral axillary group of lymph nodes level 1 and level 2 but here the lymph nodes are mobile in n2 2a the metastasis to the ipsilateral axillary group of lymph nodes here the lymph nodes are matted in n2b metastasis to the ipsilateral internal mammary group of the lymph nodes in n3 3a there is supraclavicular lymph node involvement that is level 3 in n3b there is metastasis to the both ipsilateral axillary group and internal mammary group in n3c there is supraclavicular lymph node involvement plus or minus axillary or internal mammary group of lymph node then coming to the distance metastasis that is m0 and m1 m0 is there is no evidence of metastasis m1 is there is evidence of the metastasis so this is about tnm staging based on this staging you have to stage them into stage 1 2 3 and 4 so stage stage 0 is there is no evidence of primary tumor no evidence of regional lymph node involvement and no metastasis and stage 1 it is again divided into stage 1a and 1b and stage 2 is again divided into 2a 2b stage 3 3a 3b and 3c and stage 4 it could be any tumor tumor of any size regional lymph nodes can be any lymph node involvement and there is evidence of metastasis so that is stage 4 so the stages 1 and 2a 2b are grouped as early breast carcinoma stage 3a 3b and 3c is locally advanced breast carcinoma and stage 4 is a advanced breast carcinoma or metastatic metastatic breast carcinoma so in early breast carcinoma uh, i'll briefly tell about the treatment or management of the early breast carcinoma that is we have to do breast conservative surgery and whenever you do the breast conservative surgery you have to give the radiotherapy it is mandatory so breast conservative surgery and radiotherapy <clears throat> And if at all the axillary, axillary group of lymph nodes or any group of lymph nodes involvement is present, then you have to do axillary dissection. And if at all the axillary lymph nodes are negative, then you have to do sentinel lymph node biopsy and then go for the axillary dissection. And also give adjuvant chemotherapy to decrease the size of the tumor. That is before the surgery, you have to give adjuvant chemotherapy. So this is about the treatment for the early breast carcinoma, that is breast conservative surgery, radiotherapy, axillary dissection do sentinel lymph node biopsy and adjuvant chemotherapy Adju sorry neo adjuvant chemotherapy should be given before the surgery adjuvant chemotherapy should be given after the surgery then coming to the locally advanced carcinoma here you have to give the neo adjuvant chemotherapy to decrease the size of the tumor first and then do modified radical mastectomy that is you, you will remove the breast and along with the level 1, level 2, level 3 group of lymph nodes and pectoralis major and minor muscle you will remove here in MRM and give radiotherapy, chemotherapy and hormonal therapy in locally advanced carcinoma. Okay, neoadjuvant chemotherapy, MRM, radiotherapy, chemotherapy and hormonal therapy and in advanced metastatic carcinoma you have to give the hormonal therapy hormonal therapy is a first choice and then give the chemotherapy and if at all any fungation is present you have to do the palliative or toilet mastectomy so this is about the treatment that is in brief the treatment of the breast carcinoma so thank you guys